Hey, hi, I'm Steph. Welcome to my channel, Knots and Needles. This is my contribution to So Frugal 2022. So, as you probably know by now, you probably heard all of the other contributors. It's a free sewing challenge. You choose a free sewing pattern, use fabric from your stash, make the project in the month of March and then post it on Instagram 31st of March with the hashtag so frugal 2022 so frugal 22 if you are posting anything before then use the hashtag so frugal 22 whip WIP just so when they're choosing the winners you it's not going to get too confusing the ladies who are running this event are Frugalissima and the Yorkshire Sew Girl. I will link both their accounts in the description box below. So, needless to say, I might have got a little bit overexcited when it came to this challenge, and um, I have quite a lot of pans. Um, I think the best way is to just jump straight in. Okay, so I thought I would start with a few websites where you can go and find free patterns. I will link these below and these are the websites that where I've looked. You might have seen a lot of these patterns or websites before through all of the other contributors to this. But this first one is Threads Monthly and if you sign up to the mailing list they'll just email you. Uh, once a week with some of their free patterns, but they are all available on their website. So as you can see, there's quite a few different varieties. And basically these websites are ones that have grouped lots of other, they've gone and done sort of all the trawling for you. Which I think when you are looking for a free pattern, it gets so overwhelming. You, you think, oh, I want to make that, I want to make that. And like, if you want, want to make a top for beginners, 11 easy tops, click on it and see what's available. So there's six free there. So that's Threads Monthly. The next website is Melly Sue, Melly Sews, and she's got loads of free, loads of free projects. Um, and you can also search on her website as well. Um, so that's a really a good one and lots of useful um, tutorials. So if you are a beginner, or an experienced beginner, or you want to learn a new, uh, a new type of whatever, a new bit of sewing. <laughs> I don't know what the right word is, but you get what I mean. And then there's so so easy. This has got so much. Um, I do find this website a wee bit overwhelming. But if you go in knowing what you're looking for, so you want in uh, a short pattern. It does make it a little bit easier to try and find and obviously she's there's a tab here dedicated to free sewing so let, let's try and find some shorts shall we as you can see it, there's just a lot search this site let's go shorts Uh, walking shorts and then it gives you all the information you need and this is a free download as well so I would recommend that one if you know in what you want to find Pearl Soho is another one and they do sort of free patterns for God, it seems like all crafts knitting crochet sewing and their website is really easy to use it's really it's really pretty it's simple it's got nice photography there's no invasive ads um i like this i browse this for a good hour just enjoying the part of photography and their well-written tutorials i mean this is so cute a felted wool baby jacket this is adorable i'm not sure how practical it is but it is very cute and then we have Peppermint Mag. So these, with every issue of this magazine, there's a free online pattern. And then it's you can choose to pay nothing or if you want to, you can make a contribution. 
uh, again this is really good actually even just to to read sit and have a read it's it's some really lovely articles and then we've got Mo mood society society there is tons in here as well and just some amazingly beautiful patterns i mean look at that that's the lunar jumpsuit so that came out on the 11th i mean you can go from beginner to advanced here i mean this pattern is absolutely stunning actually i really love this i don't have enough fabric for this at all but there is loads that you can find on here okay let's get into some patterns that i personally like and that i hope you like too so this is called the uh, the poppy dress free sewing pattern this is released 2nd of march last year and i think this is stunning i don't have the fabric from my stash to make this i think this would be something i would want to make once my skills a lot better so me personally i class myself as uh, an intermediate beginner uh, i'm not a complete beginner but when it comes to clothes so and if you saw my um, other vlog about everything that i have made so far my my five items uh, you see that i'm not i'm not at all that experienced this i just think is just absolutely stunning i'm not a huge fan of the shoulders but i love the deep v so as someone who's not blessed in the the chest department i think i could get away with this um especially after since having my son <laughs> there they're not what they used to be so um i just love the style of it i love everything about it and size 2 to 18 which i'm not entirely sure what that oh no 2 to 30 i don't know what size i am I would have to measure myself um, but I will leave my sizes in the description box so it's not something that um, I'm ashamed of or I really care about to be honest um, and I'll uh, so then you should be able to work out if you think you look like a similar size to me you'll know what patterns fit you for what patterns I do decide to make but stay tuned for end of March start of April and that video will be coming on what I'm making. So that was from Mood Society. This is from Pearl Soho. So I love shorts. Um, I live in Lincolnshire. It gets really hot in the summer. And these don't take up much fabric. Um, they're called the City Gym Shorts for all ages. And I think they just look really easy to wear. If you're out, like dog walking. Um, I am now a fan of the elasticated waistband. If you told me that when I was in my early 20s, I would have been like, oh God, no, that's for old people and mums. But now I'm 32 and a mum and uh, I've really come to appreciate an elasticated waist. Um, last summer, all I wore was my elasticated shorts um, and I'm probably gonna end up doing the same thing this summer. So as you can see, they're really, they're just really pretty and they don't seem to take up much material. And it comes in kids, women's, sizes and different hip sizes so my hips are definitely on the larger size i think my hips are uh, 44 to 46 at least i've got really i've got really big thighs so i'd be at the upper the upper limit of these shorts i think so i'm not sure how inclusive that would actually be i've 44 to 46 i should be able to get into that that should be fine you see it's not much fabric and a really clear tutorial as well. Um, I know I find some patterns just a wee bit too confusing to follow if you are a beginner. Like just a lot of it just goes over my head. I like, personally I like patterns which have YouTube videos to follow along. But I do like these. Okay, so this is another Pearl Soho pattern. I'm not the biggest fan of this top but I think for a beginner it's a good place to start I think there's enough um, variety in it that it, it's enough of a challenge that you are starting to learn the basic techniques and I think for me I do want to get my basic techniques down so when I come to a pattern that I think is out of my range my comfort zone I'm like actually when you break it down I do know what each of these steps mean and I think there's an example here with the tie. 
and I like the idea of having a tie um, just to sort of cinch in the waist a bit if you do feel like you want a bit more of something that's a bit more fitted a bit more um, to show that you actually have a waist or when if you're feeling you know you've just been to the pub and had a three course Sunday lunch you might not feel you want something more fitted um, and it's just with the design it looks like you can use if you don't have enough fabric for all everything in one colour you can break it down into different uh, different blocks so here are the sizes bust up to 46 down 28 to 46 um, this would help if I knew what my bust was because I'm not sure but if you're in, I know I'm in between that so for reference I'm about a UK 10 to 12 on top and I'm a UK uh, 14 to 16 on my legs okay this is another pearl soho the wear anywhere tunic and again I just think this is really simple really pretty I think this would be really nice over if you're going to the beach and you've just got a bikini or a swing costume on just to throw this over and the fact that it's got the ties here just makes it look a bit just a bit more nicer really I do like this fabric again I don't think I have enough fabric for this but I like how this is a super this will be a super easy pan the size range yeah as you can see here it looks super easy the sizes are okay I have a Zara scarf I got it from a charity shop and I thought I would like to upcycle it into a skirt and I am mean, thinking of doing the wool wrap skirt and probably something that I wouldn't get much wear out of this year to be honest but next year I think this is the perfect pattern for it because it looks like you can modify the length and for me personally I wouldn't put lining fabric in it because I'm lazy again hips from 34 to 44 so this might be a wee bit too small for me actually I'd have to find out what my exact size is because I wouldn't want something that's restrictive again the pattern's really easy to follow as well okay now we're gonna move into peppermint magazine so these are just the ones that caught my attention. This is the Milton Pinafore and I think it is just really pretty. Uh, so I've seen, I think one, if you look the hashtag up on Instagram, and there's one person who's wore this without a top underneath and I just think it looks really, really, really nice. And there's different ways you can wear this. So I think this, if I'd seen this, if I seen like someone doing this video last year and I seen someone not last year a couple of years ago and I'd seen this pattern I probably would have made this as my wedding dress to be honest um instead of the the weird pattern that I went with I sort of made up the bust part myself I wish I followed this and I don't know if I have enough fabric to try and make my dress into this pattern um I think I will I just think it looks really nice so if, if you do make anything they look like you to use some hashtags which I think is really nice because I know when I'm looking for patterns it's what I do is I look for what other people have made um, seeing how you can change a pattern or um, if it's popular or not and you know I'm nosy I want to see what other people have made so this is called play suit and I think this looks like a really simple make and I think I have enough fabric for it I like the simplicity of it I probably would put a tie on this and I wouldn't put the shorts on I don't like the design of the shorts but I like the wide legs I've got big thighs so I think it would work for me I like the ties it means if you need to go to the loo it's easy to get off 
and it goes from what do we want? We want the hip measurement. For me, I want hip measurements. 33 to 54 and a half, so I think that is a really inclusive side drains. So I'd probably end up making E or F at least. Yeah, definitely E or F, because I think I'm in between those two sizes at the moment. And even when I'm slimmer, my, my hip my hip size generally doesn't change. So yeah, I wouldn't have the shorts and I would put a, I'd put a tie on just to try and cinch it in at the waist a bit just to give it a bit more shape, but I can imagine me wearing this all summer, just walking the dog. I've got a few more, a few more peppermint. I safe to say I kind of like their patterns and I want more jumpsuits this year. I really like the Lucene Yak jumpsuits and um, I think I want to make my own instead of buying. Again, I don't think I have enough fabric for this one, but I this is definitely something I do want to make in the future. I wouldn't want the zip on the back. I'd want the zip on the side. I'm not sure if that would be possible to change because I feel like in, getting in and out of it might be a wee bit of a problem. So this, as you can see here, it's got a, um, I don't know what you call this, a bus start or I think it's a bit more not such a beginner pattern so this would be something I'd want to make when my skills are higher up are better as I've learnt more and then this is another pair of shorts I think these just look really pretty I like the waist design I've never really tried paper what is it paper bag waist clothes before um I like the the, the short, um, the bottom, the way it curves like that, and I think the fact that it goes higher up, it would hide my little pooch, my little my little belly. Um, so I think I just think these are really nice, and the sizes go from thirty six inch hip to forty two. So these should just fit me. There's not the widest um, size range though um, at all. So if you are bigger than uh, this is a, it's a 16, it might not be for you. For me, this might not not be as baggy fit as it's shown on the model. Um, I'd have to see what size I am and then see because I would want a, a wider fit, a baggy fit because I don't, I want to sit down and feel comfortable in what I'm wearing. I don't want to feel like I'm trying to squeeze myself in something at all. And then these, I just thought would be really good just to have as just something quick and easy to sew using scrap fabric. So they go from an extra extra small to extra extra large, so 6 to an 18. So on hips, 32 to 44.6. So but I think these patterns, you'd be able to um, easily modify them. I'm sure there's YouTube videos showing you how to change sizes on patterns. They look simple. That's what I like with them. Something, a quick and easy sew. So the last one that I am looking at for me is fresh a camisole because I like the binding on it I think that's something that I need to work on personally and I think they these are just easy to wear um, I used to have just tank tops made out of a knit stretch material I don't really think I like them I, I don't like the tight fitting things anymore um, I don't know if that's just because my relationship with my body has changed or what but I like the loose fit of this um, and it looks I should have fabric enough to make this um, so here's the post click on it and then just follow the instructions of how to get the to make it Okay, so the next bit I'm gonna 
talk about free makes for kids. I have a little boy and I've started to make his clothes now and I'm just looking at some free sewing patterns for, for boys. There's also a couple of the free patterns that I think I might make for some of the stash fabric that I have but I'm not shown it in this video. You'll find out what I'm gonna make with that later on. So this is another site, so Pin, and it's just got a load of free patterns um, and a load of just normal patterns on rompers, basically. I really like rompers for, for kids. I just think they're really cute um, and easy to wear, uh, especially, I think, during summer. So that's a good one. It's got loads of links to free patterns. So the first one, I thought the uh, Elliot Sunsuit is just really cute. Um, I would obviously make it in different fabric, but it looks like it's got snaps or an opening along the bottom, which for nappy changes is really handy. And it's just something to keep your little one half covered up, to be honest. But if it's so warm, doesn't really matter and it just talks you through how to to make it yourself so it's a pattern you'd have to make yourself from one of your kids old clothes already and then this is again from threads monthly and it's a load of free patterns the one I was looking at was just the short I think shorts for boys or girls um, just really handy and they take such little pattern anyway, such little fabric anyway again free to download and a really good size range so 15 months no three months to 14 years old I feel like quite a wide range for clothes and then finally little bandanas <laughs> my son unfortunately won't keep these on anymore he keeps taking them all off all these little bibs um, but I just think they're really cute. If you're making these as a gift for someone, you have a little summer romper with the bandana, especially if they're teething and then drooling. Uh, I just think these are really cute and really good way to use up scrap fabric because you can make them in different sizes. Yeah, so use half a yard. Yeah, just super easy make. Really quick. I think that's everything so stay tuned I will be posting my makes on the 31st of March on Instagram my Instagram account is down below 